Common bile duct stones are solid deposits that can either form within the gallbladder or migrate to the common bile duct or form de novo in the biliary tree. Here we present the case of a 76 years old British man, Roman, who was taken to the clinical department complaining sore pain in right upper cordon. His past medical history revealed that he had been suffering from upper cordon pain with a transient episode of jaundice and fever from three weeks. He was overweight and had non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, atrial fibrillation, hypertension, and hypercholesterolemia. On physical examination, he presented with anxious appearance, yellow discoloration on sclera and mucosa, and tenderness around the apigastric region. His vital signs were temperature 100 degree Fahrenheit, pulse was 1 or 2 per minute, that means he was tachycardic, respiration rate was 26 breaths per minute and BP was 140 by 80 millimeters of mercury. The patient underwent a trans abdominal ultrasound scan which showed a thick wall gallbladder which was normally distended and contained stones. There was mild intrahepatic and extrahepatic dilatation of the biliary channels, extending down to the pancreatic head with a CBD measuring 10 millimeter in diameter. For making the diagnosis, a CT scan was performed which revealed that the gallbladder contracted around several stones. Taking into consideration all the symptoms and radiographic results, the doctor suggested biliary tract surgery as the most suitable treatment. Now the questions are, what is a suitable surgical technique to treat Roman? What factors should be considered for surgical treatment? What are the indications for the biliary tract surgery? And what will be the expected post-operative complications? Let's find out the answers by complete understanding of cholecystectomy for cholelithiasis.